Hey guys, just letting you know that we are running a sale until the 1st of January, 20% off all merch with the code DISRESPECT at checkout. That's all caps DISRESPECT until the 1st of January for Boxing Week. Alright guys, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-86 Sabre and we are fighting the F-5 Tiger. And I think it'll just be an interesting challenge, you know, F-86 versus F-5. F-5, obviously, uh, about a Vietnam-era aircraft, and uh, the F-86, a Korea War. So, significantly older, the F-86. But I think I can still maybe provide a challenge here. We'll see. This could go completely wrong. Uh, there's the merge. We'll go in one circle. Looks like F5 actually beats me in the one circle, so that's good to know. And it's going to be a lot of experimenting to see what works for me versus the F5. And then, you know, once I figure it out, it's about adjusting the fight to uh, my own advantages. We're going to see what the F5 is capable of. Uh, in this situation now, we just went from a one circle um, into a two circle. And it looks like I can actually beat him in a rate fight. As interesting as that sounds. You don't you wouldn't think the F-86 could beat him in anything. And as you can see, high altitude. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna, you know, hurt my performance or help me a little bit, but I guess we're gonna find out. I have a possible shot here. Get some. Oh shit, I hit him. <laughs> what? Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using the radar kind of, you know, gun side of the F-86, I just find it to be very unreliable. I prefer to just do, like, World War II-style deflection shooting. Um, I also help, I think it helps me, uh, you know, get better at the deflection shooting. And also, the F-86, from my understanding, when you're close to the ground and the radar is bouncing off the ground, it's uh, rather unreliable, so I just, I don't need that. You know, I'll just uh, I'll just deflection shoot. It's no big deal. A little bit of uh, over rudder there. Almost lost control of the aircraft. Trying to keep the fight uh, in a two circle or a ray fight essentially. And, and you can see, like, look at that. I'm just out rating them. It's pretty easy actually in the F-86. I'm still not completely sure if the one circle is completely his or if, you know, there's things I can do to win the one circle, but we'll find out here. And here here we go. Looks like we got a, a scissor developing here. And this actually looks like a good opportunity. I might be able to kill him right here. Look at this. Shit. Shit. Oh, dude, I, oh, I think I hit him there at least once. No effect on target, though. <sighs> Alright, well, I have a feeling I'm going to pay for that later, because uh, that was a good opportunity to get the kill, and I kind of messed it up. I've dived for the ground here. I've seen Longshot do this in uh, other fights. There it is. There's the... Very nice. Okay. Almost forces an overshoot, but at least neutralizes the fight in a one circle. And get some shots off. And uh, don't forget Longshot's got his own channel, so follow that. Link's in the video description below. And it looks like he has thoroughly won the one circle. And he hit me. Nice. Alright. So I think the one circle is very much the F5s. I don't think there's anything I can do in a one circle to, 
to beat him. We'll try cutting throttle here and see if it helps. Oh shit. <laughs> he put those rounds right over my head. And I'm just hoping that maybe he can squeeze out in front, but when I cut the throttle, I have basically no movement or maneuverability, I guess. Shit, he hit me again. And the aircraft kind of just falls out of the sky like you see here. The F-86 just doesn't provide lift like some of the, uh, you know, F-5, F-4 uh, later era aircraft. So I do need some sort of throttle input here. I just don't. And then when I put in the throttle, the F-5 just murders me in the one circle. So I think uh, pretty decisive to say that the F-5 owns the one circle fight against the F-86. Looks like we're back in a one circle. Looks like he's figured that out as well, and he continues to try to force that. Head-on shots. You know, I'll be honest with you, the F-86 is kind of performing a lot better than I would have expected it to. Um, I thought it would get absolutely annihilated, but it is holding its ground here. And honestly, if I was shooting a little bit better, this fight might have already been over. You see this, he's constantly trying to force the one circle, and I think he actually has something here. Shit, he hit me again. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Uh, aircraft's acting a little weird. Feels like he may have shot off an aileron or something. Uh, she's flying all kinds of funky, and he's nicely back there. I think this fight's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure, and maybe I can jink him here real quick. All right, so losing the first round, not a big deal. Um, I think I figured it out though. Uh, he thoroughly kicked my ass in the one circle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid that wherever possible in this next fight, but I think I figured out how to beat him. And uh, we're gonna see if it works out for me. I'm gonna try to stay alive long enough to drag him to the deck. Once I drag him to the deck, I'm gonna take him two circle, and theoretically I should kick his ass, but you know, we'll see how that plays out. There's the merge, one circle again. You can see once again he beats me in the one circle, as expected. I'm pulling hard here to try to neutralize. At least don't give him a shot. And I actually beat him in the second turn. That's interesting. I almost killed him right there. And here we go, F5 nose down attitude. That's what I like to see. It's gonna give me angles. Now you gotta consider that he had to pull hard for those one circle turns. And uh, he's a little bit slower, which means he's gonna dump his nose to get the energy back. Working really hard here to not uh, lose control of this aircraft. <laughs> and needing to dump his nose, he's gonna drag the fight down to the ground a lot quicker. Oh shit, I'm losing him in the clouds here. I can still kinda see him. 
and the quicker we go down to the ground the better it is for me I'm just gonna try to accelerate the uh, dive down to the ground hope he follows Here he comes, and we're off into the two circle on the deck here. He tries to force the one circle again, almost gets himself killed for it. And I'll do one circle again here, but I'm not going to reverse the turn. I'm just going to pull straight into a two circle from here. Just continue my turn. As you can see here, he's been forced into a right fight, and he is getting his ass kicked. Here we go. All right, let's make this count. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he felt that. Now, you got to keep in mind I'm shooting 50 cal, so I'm not going to do too much damage. He's shooting uh, 20 mil, I believe. But, you know, 50 cal should still do the trick on an F5. Just a couple more hits, I think he's still operational. And there you go, rate fight again. Bring him back into the HUD and let's line him up for this kill. And there goes his wing. All right. There we go. F86 beats F5. Good fight to long shot. Um, I'm happy with the way that played out figured out what the uh, F-86 needed, gave it to her, and she delivered the victory. Good kill. third round and I just want to do this one for fun I'm gonna go for shock and awe uh, we're gonna be very aggressive in the f86 this time around and uh, it's gonna be risky because if I mess it up I'm gonna be low on energy and I should be an easy kill for him but if I'm aggressive and accurate uh, he is going to be in for a surprise when this thing rips him apart all right here's the merge one circle once again he's using the vertical I'm just going to go ahead and yank him into the HUD here. I merged it a little bit uh, better than all the other times. There's the <laughs> almost hit him right there. And we're going to keep the aggressiveness up, pulling hard here, just yanking him into the HUD. And really the concept here is you're just going to try to scare the shit out of him and hope that he makes mistakes. This actually looks fantastic. I think I might be able to line something up. Almost hit him with that right there. Yeah, come on, baby. Let's go for a pilot snipe, shoot the cockpit. There it is. <laughs> I think I just put like three or four 50 cals right into the cockpit there. Damn, dude, talk about aggressive. I think he's falling out of the sky. Pretty sure that's a dead pilot. Now, I've had people do this to me where they pretend to be dead and then they come out of the, right before they hit the ground, they come out of the dive and they kill me. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow this down and wait for the ground impact before I declare a victory here. Oh, 
There it is. Good kill. All right, F-86. Nice. Very capable aircraft. Let's check out this quick little tag view here. Obviously, blue F-86 is me. Uh, red F-5 is my buddy Longshot. You can see a Mach of 0.81 at the merge. I'm actually faster than him in the merge. Wow. Okay, 8.4. And so you can see he's getting... Oh, wow. Let's see this. Looks like he lead turns me better, actually. Yeah, so he's doing a significantly better job in the, the lead turn. You can see a 17.1 to a 9.7 degrees a second. Um, here he is at 22. Very impressive. And I am at 17.6. Uh, he's 17.15. So he actually beat me for a little bit through that turn. And... Wow. Yeah, so I guess when he, especially when he uses the vertical like that, like I got forced into the vertical, you can see here I wasn't committed to it. But as I saw him in the vertical, I started to go into it. And at this point, like he's already getting nose on. And he doesn't get a fire solution, I think, but he uh, definitely beats me in the one circle. And there's the reversal. And my reversal, you can see I'm out in front, so this is not a good situation for me. And so I start dumping the nose here in an attempt to get out of his nose. You can see him dumping, trying to pull me into the nose. However, when I start dumping the nose, I realize that, oh shit, I can actually get a shot here. And, you know, I fire some off, I miss. And there's him dumping his nose to one, get out of my nose, and two, to regain the energy that he would have lost in the one circle um, pull there. Now, the dumping of the nose gives me a second opportunity to shoot at him. Uh, it's a risk he was obviously willing to take. Here he is for another dive attempt. Uh, it's just not easy for me to follow that though. Like it's one thing to know what to do and it's another thing to have your aircraft actually cooperate with you and uh, the F-86 not loving the maneuverability of the F-5 in these situations. He's definitely more maneuverable than me. As expected, he is a later era aircraft. And he actually gets almost a shot and a kill there as he swoops down on my head. Um, so I'm going to use the vertical and go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah. So this is the part where I'm like, all right, this one circle thing's not working. Let's go for the two circle. And you can see immediately off the bat, I'm pulling 17 point or 18 degrees. He's pulling 14.9. And here's 21, 20. And then you got his 15, 21, 20, 19, 20. So you can see I'm pulling much better rates through you could argue that he wasn't trying to rate fight there he's trying to cut circles um, but i think there's a better rate fight on the deck here somewhere he's trying to force a one circle here this is the part where he almost gets himself killed trying to do it and the reversal and into the so he once he reverses it you know i realize like oh shit he forced the one circle and he's in a good position here so i'm just not gonna play that game i'm off to my raid fight and here i am 23 22 21 and look at him at his 13, 12, 10, you know, and I'm just outrating the shit out of him, 21 degrees, and then there's the shots, and he's basically a sitting duck at this point, and uh, that's when he starts smoking, and recommitting back into the raid fight, he's already pretty messed up at this point, he's just waiting to die, and pull him back into the HUD, and splash one bandit. All right, so F-86 beats F-5. So I guess the lesson here is just find out what your aircraft can do better than his. Even if you don't know, you can figure it out in the middle of the fight. And then, you know, try to exploit that. If you're better in the two circle, force the two circle. If you're better in the one circle, force the one circle. And whoever does that better is the one who's going to win. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.